it's Justine, and I have my unboxing for Uppercase, Lit Cube, and Owl Crate. Um, we're just going to start with Lit Cube because it's actually my June box, and the other ones, I believe, are July. But we'll find out. So, Lit Cube, June. Um, mine got stuck because there was, like, a possible postage strike in Canada, and then it didn't actually happen, but it was getting held somewhere or something. So, yeah. So first look, it looks like this. And they always have purple and it's so cute. And then you get a little trading card and this one is Roaring Twenties Mystery. Among the Whispering and Champagne and the Stars. So it looks, hold on, Ugh, you're so far away. Looks like this. And then it tells us what's in here. is what is this thing I don't know what this is there are all kinds of love in this world but never the same love twice the great gifts did can you guys see that gold lettering okay so a pillow cover except for it's like super like okay I want to show you guys I'm gonna take it out of here it's a pillow cover but it wouldn't be able to be a pillow that you're gonna use because it's like rough like, really rough. Like, can you guys see that? Like, I thought it was a tote bag. Like, it's just super rough. So it wouldn't be one you'd be able to lay on. But that's fun. And that retails for $19.95. And then we have a magnet. It says, Among the Whisperings and the Champagne and the Stars. So that's really cute. I love magnets. I like to put things on my fridge. So we have that. Um, it's retail for $2.95. Um, we got a Sugar Daddy Candy Milk Caramel Pop. Oops. I think I've had these before. I got them in, like, some kind of box. Sorry, I just dropped my... my thing. Um, so they're 50 cents. The Roaring Twenties gave momentum to the usage of the slang term Sugar Daddy, referring to a man who offers money or gifts to younger women for companionship or intimacy. Ahem. Robert Welch, who worked with, for the James Welch, co-invented the caramel candy bar on a stick in 1925. Yum. Uh, and then we have Champagne and Bubbles, Black Time Market Lathering Sugar Scrub. So this is really cute packaging. You guys can't even see it. I'm just going to take it out of here anyways. Um, where did I just see that? It's Retails for $8.75. Oh, hold on. That will show you. Maybe. Really, camera? There we go. I don't know why it, like, does that. It's so weird. Oh, it smells so freaking good. Mmm. I don't even know what it smells like. What does it say? Apricot, sugar cane, shea butter. Yeah. It smells delicious. It smells almost like wine a little bit, like champagne. Oh, champagne and bubbles. Hello. Yes, that's what it smells like. Okay, and then I have one other cute little box that looks like this. And what is this? A wearable Art Deco headband. So it looks like this. Mine has kind of like a wonky piece that I feel like shouldn't be there. It's like sharp. But anyways, it looks like this. And then my weird wonky piece is like down here. You guys can see it. But let's put this cute headband on. Do you wear it like right in the front? How do flapper girls wear things? Like this. With my bangs and I can't see. I don't know. It's cute. It's cute. Probably off to the side. Uh, and that retails for $12.95. And then lastly, we have the book. It is Evergreen Falls by Kimberly Freeman. It looks like this. And it says, in Sydney, 1926, Violet Armstrong counts herself lucky to have secured... I have to take this off. I can't read my hair in my face. Um, 
counts herself lucky to have secured a job as a waitress at the Grand Evergreen Spa Hotel. Among the guests are Sam and Flora Honeychurch Black, a wealthy brother and sister ensconced in the hotel for an extended stay. Violet and Sam share a passionate attraction, but when a snowstorm moves in, trapping guests and staff alike, no one could have imagined the tragedy that would unfold in the isolated hotel. Eighty years later, in the Blue Mountains, Laura Beck takes a job at a cafe built as the first stage of the decrepit evergreen spa hotel's return to grandeur. During a furative exploration of the hotel's closed-off wing, Lauren discovers a series of passionate love letters stowed in an old record player that allude to a whirlwind affair and a tragic secret. Lauren begins to unravel the mystery, but will discovering the truth finally make her brave enough to take a risk that could change her life? Cool. This sounds really fun. Like, I like... I, it sounds like a murder mystery, and I do like the 1920s, so that's really awesome. Um, and it retails for uh, $16. It also looks like it was possibly off of Book Outlet because it has a red line, which means that it was on sale. So probably not $16, but whatever. Anyways, um, let's put all this stuff back in here. And then we'll move on to the next one. Now, I heard an inkling that Uppercase and Owlcrate might possibly have the same book again this month. Which is fine, like whatever, then my friend gets a book. Um, and they did offer to send, like last month when they had My Lady Jane Uppercase, if you took a picture you'd get an extra little goodie. So we'll do uppercase next. Um, and yeah, so basically they said that they would give back some percentage or something. But I mean, really, you have subscriptions, you get doubles. Same with my all my other subscriptions, you still get doubles. So whatever, it's fine. Just hopefully it doesn't happen like every month or I'll just cancel one of them. Okay, so I want my piece, my note. My note. July uppercase. Hi Justine, as one of the most anticipated books of the year, this paranormal story delivers an intense new world with serious thrills. This is truly a unique story that will stick with you days later. Happy reading, Lisa. So you always get like this little handwritten note and then it tells you what's in the book. I mean, what's in the bag, not in the book. So firstly, we have juniperandivydesign.com, so it's in this cute little box. And they're snitch earrings. I feel like I got these in uppercase already. I got these in some box. I already have these. Um, please do not get these wet. So I don't know when I got them or where, but I do have these already, so... But whatever. <laughs> that happens, I guess. Right? Like I was just saying, you get extras. Let me see where they... Um, so I think those were the extra, but... Since I already have them, it like doesn't, you know? Okay, then we have some pencils. That's a, hold on, what does this one say? Read More, Sleep Less, Book Nerd, Carp Librium, Professional Bookworm, and I Read Young A. And, but they're, they're like colored, but they're not um, actually a color to write on them. And I think those are extras too, because, oh no, pencil set, custom stamp, book lovers, pencil set. Uppercase exclusive. And we have a pin, human or monster. This savage song by Victoria Schwab. So that's probably, that's a spoiler, but you know. We have that. And then you get the bookmark, which it's like now a piece of paper. It's not even like a thick bookmark, but it gives you the, um, you go to a page and then you get a word and you put it in and then you get like little bonus extras. So that, and then, what is this? 480 vintage stickies in assorted sizes. Sweet. I love post-its. Sorry if you can hear my phone buzzing. I don't know what's going on over there. I must be so popular. Ah! What's happening? Oh, oops. Totally wrecked that. Not really, but I didn't need to... So it has this cute little thing like this, and then you open it up, and you have little stickies. And there's one with book nerds, and one with little, like, tiny, there's like a pencil, a light bulb, there's a telephone one, a due date, and then to do, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Cute! I really like those. I love post-its. I can use them in my planner. 
Then you have the pencils to go with it. And then finally, the book. And it is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. So, not gonna lie, I don't think I've heard anything about this book. I feel like I've seen the cover, but maybe I'm thinking of a different cover. But yeah, so, it's signed in silver. I saw some people, it's like signed right there. They didn't think that they were, they were signed, but she said it's in silver and it kind of hides. And this is like a special little page put in here for uppercase, so that's always cool. Um, it says, Katie Harker wants to be as ruthless as her father. After five years in six boarding schools, she's finally going home to prove that she can be. I love boarding schools. They're my favorite. August Flynn wants to be human, but he isn't. He's a monster, one that can steal souls with a song. He's one of the three most powerful monsters in a city overrun with them. His own father's secret weapon. Their city is divided. Their city is crumbling. Kate and August are the only two who see both sides, the only two who could do something. But how do you decide to be a hero or a villain when it's too hard to tell, or when it's hard to tell which is which? This sounds really good. I think I will like that. So there you have it, the book. Oops, if I can get them back in here. The book, and the posts, the post-its, and the pencils and the bookmark, and the pin, and the handwritten note, and then the bonus snitch earrings, but I already have those, so someone, maybe I'll do a giveaway and someone can win some snitch earrings, because who doesn't love Harry Potter? Nobody. If you don't like Harry Potter, then you suck. Um, and then lastly, we have Jula Alcrate. Hold on, that's actually my phone ringing. Sorry about that, hubby was calling. So Owl Crate for July, I think, maybe they're June. I don't remember what I said. Owl Crate, okay, I see a Funko Pop. Yes, and it's Dobby. I love Dobby and he's holding a little sock. He's the cutest. Can you see his little sock? Probably not, but it's there. I love him. Yay, he can go up with Ron. Ron, where are you? Ron. Ron and Dobby. I feel like they're from different, different series, but I don't care. They can hang out together. They'll be best friends forever. They'll be on my Harry Potter area. Anyways, moving on. Where's my card? I don't know where the card is. <gasps> Did I not get a card? Oh, my card was like at the bottom. Is it? I didn't get a card, you guys. That's sad. Okay, it just, I have a card that tells me the theme for August is um, Fast Times at Young A High. So that'll be sweet. So I don't have a card for this month. Um, so I have this decal. You have me until the last star in the galaxy dies. You have me. This one is really cool. I like that. It's really pretty. So we have that. I have a, what is this? Romeo and Juliet meets Indiana Jones. Kenneth Opal, every hidden thing, forbidden romance flourishes during a harrowing journey into the Badlands. Kenneth Opal's Canadian, so that will be a fun read. It says, I went close to you so I could hear your breathing and I told you you must not die. I told you to live because I never felt love the way you love me. Cool. Cool. Then we have a cute bookmark and it's Alice. And this is from By Jane's Tiny Things. Tiny little magnetic bookmarks. So it's Alice. Yes, that means I got the good box. There's good or evil. So you're either getting Alice or Queen of Hearts. It says on here and it says, um, I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I think I must have changed several times since then, Lewis Carroll. So you got one or the other. Oh, did everybody get Dobby? Cause I would be so sad if I would have got like the evil box and I wouldn't have got Dobby. Then we have Vector Engraving, Etsy.com. Oh, come on. Looks like this little box. Sounds like a necklace or something. Okay, so I don't actually know what this is. I feel like it's something to do with Star Wars, but I don't actually know. So if I'm wrong, please tell me. It's like a wooden necklace. 
Um, but yeah, so I don't know what that is. So I apologize, but it looks like this. And it's wooden, and it's cool, but I don't have my card, so I can't tell you what it is. And then, lastly... <laughs> There's worms. There's worms everywhere. Oops. We have this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And then we have a handwritten note by her. And then we have a signed book plate, which my other book is signed. Like right on the book from uppercase. So I'll probably, this will probably be one that I'm giving away. So you get the signed book plate. Or I could be a dick and I could keep this and put it in a different book by her, but... We'll see. It says, Dearest reader, this is a book about monsters, about life and death, uh, wants and needs and consequence, uh, about finding bright in the darkest places. All of my books spawn from a question. Where is the line? What does it mean to be good or evil, hero or villain, something or monster? For Kate and August, their lives revolve around this question, their answer, and the fact that it is not black and white, not simple, that a truth one day might be a lie the next. I challenge you to take this journey into the darkness of them and hope you find an answer to your own truth. You are bright, sincerely, or you are your own light. Sincerely, Victoria Schwab, and then there is a young, a young adult covers to color. Cool. I spent my life folded between the pages of books. So let's see what's in here. This is cool. So it has this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Do you see that? And then it has Kenneth Opal, Every Hidden Thing. It has Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. It has Kathy Parks, The Lifeboat Click. Never heard of it. Uh, Sing by Vivi Green. I haven't heard of either of those ones or seen them anywhere. Um, then we have A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Calvero. Never heard of that one. Simon vs. the Homo, Sapi Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I have heard of that one. Never read it. Oh my god, my house is so hot. I'm sweating. I have butt sweat right now. You're welcome for sharing. And Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Cool. So yeah. Um great box. I wish I had a card so I could tell you guys what things are and if you know what that other thingamajing is tell me. And that's everything. So yeah. Um, let me know if you guys get these boxes and which one is your favorite and if you want to read these books and if you've read them and if they're amazing and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye!